<clears throat> you'll notice that I'm wearing a headset. I love my headset. I feel like it's part of me. It's a limb if I don't have it. I, it's a missing limb if I don't wear it. You might have seen my post on LinkedIn over the weekend. Um, it's really important to have a good audio. Um, and the reason is this. So if you remember the days when we used to drive for people who are even driven since March, um, you know, you might have a car that has a Bluetooth connection. So when somebody phones you, you know, the, the Bluetooth picks up the call. It goes into your speaker in the car. You can hear it playing out. People sat in the back can hear the conversation and the person that's dialed you can hear the noises of the road. They can hear the echoey of the car. They can hear any kids in the back. They can hear any sirens that go past any background noise. That person who's phoned you is picking all of that up in that audio experience. You then pull onto your drive, you turn off the engine, the call then connects to your handset, you pick up your handset and put it to your mouth. That's the difference between wearing a headset and not wearing a headset. Not wearing a headset, you get all of the background noise, you get any reverberation, any speaker noise, delay, you might hear your voice coming back through at you on the other end. If you're wearing a headset, it's like um, having, um, uh, you know, your, your mic to the mouth, so you're not picking up all of that background noise. Sarah says, what type of headset do you recommend? I wear a Jabra headset. I like a Bluetooth one so I can wander around. The problem is the more prissy it is, the more likely it is to go wrong. So if you do have a nice expensive headset like I do that goes wrong every now and again, make sure you've got a cheapy backup from Amazon, which is about 20 quid. That's a USB that you just literally plug into your laptop or your machine. Eric is on commission. <laughs> No, you know, I should be. Absolutely. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm waiting to be uh, approached for product placement or something like that. So, yeah, so definitely recommend. And even if it's just, um, you know, just your phone uh, earbuds or, you know, something like that, it just provides a better experience for you. Some people don't like headsets because they feel it's a little bit too claustrophobic. It's too much around the head and the face, which I can understand. You can get freestanding mics as well. So a lot of people tend to use that. But it's worth investing in something that makes the audio experience better for you and better for the people on the other end of the call. And again, you know, we, we use audio a lot in the online space. So we use things like our introductions. We've all used audio. You know, I've checked in with you a couple of times. I'm doing the tell piece on audio. I'm facilitating on audio. So again, it's, it's still a big piece that you use. So your face-to-face -face skills, your trainer skills, your presentation skills, your facilitation skills, that's still as important as it is in the online space. 